Three and two, the count to Betts. He's got a five game hitting streak entering today. Seven for his last 23. And make it six. Sends a rocket into right field corner. And he'll slide in with a leadoff double. Good start for the Flames in the first. Sixth double of the year for Betts. Well, Tipton fell behind in the count. 3-0, was able to get it back full, but Betts just sitting on that pitch and didn't miss. And we'll see if he gets going a little bit, swinging the bat. Scott Jackson said he told him yesterday after that big hit in the eighth, I just wait. I just wait until there's people out there to get hits, right. apparently. Well, today he got a hit with nobody out there to begin the game and <laughs> gives Liberty a good opportunity to get on the board here first. And to this point, you're starting to see them swing it well, certainly here of late. And that just changes the entire complexion of this Liberty offense when Gray Betts is doing things like that. Gray Betts on base for the third time. Has, like Anderson, just really good play coverage. Even when the swing isn't the prettiest and that one wasn't, still the result speaks for themselves. So able to take it the other way. Second base knock of the day for Betts. Betts pulls one to right. That's going to two-hop the wall. Foster is going to get the... Windmill from Scott Jackson. Throw home is going to be not in time. Bray Betts has done it again. Clutch. Two out, two run single yesterday. And here in the seventh, adding his third hit of the ball game.